Yes, yes, what is good, my people? Welcome back to Computer Music Academy's weekly homework podcast. I am your host, Tashir Say. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Welcome to week number 60 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. And shout out to our man in 95 for providing the intro for the last three weeks. This is the last week we're going to be using it. Moving on to something new next week. Now, what are we doing for this week's assignment? Well, I was actually talking to uh, one of my one of my peoples at CMA, one of my good people, I like to call them, uh, Ray D3000. We were talking about, you know, he hadn't been around for a while. He's talking about some, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to refocus you know, my style, I'm going more funk oriented. You know, I'm a big fan of Dame Funk and cats like that. I'm like, hmm, that would be a really cool idea. So this week, we're actually doing the funk. And the, the exact assignment was basically not to emulate P Funk, G Funk, anybody else's interpretation of the funk. Create your own style of funk. Now, of course, something is going to be inspired by these other genres, but make something that is your own. And we actually have seven submissions, and I'm very eager to get to all of them. Starting out with the man who inspired this, my man Ray D3000. Let's get it in. Ray D3000, man, 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 Sacramento's own, I really enjoyed that submission, I liked it all, I really enjoyed that, that was actually one part where it was kind of like a drop, and then he brought the bass, something like that, and I'm sitting here watching the wave, and the wave actually does like a bend like that, that's one of the illest things I've ever seen before, that's dope. That track was dope. My only thing, I think, I, I, I like the drums, but they needed to bang just a little bit harder just to have some more snap and, 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 and kick to them. But other than that, great submission, Ray D. Get, glad to have you back in the lineup. All right, moving on to our man. He's been bringing it. He has not stopped yet. DJ Lock Turtle, let's go.
Carolina's own DJ Locturno. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. He did say when he sent his submission that it was more of a jazz fusion. Yeah, a jazz funk fusion. Let me say that. Man, that was sick. And then, I don't know if you really heard it. I was listening to the flute solo, which sounds incredible. But I actually heard breaths in there as if you know somebody was blowing it and they took a breath that didn't sound like an instrument that sounded like somebody actually played that like live uh, uh, against his, his track yo if that's the case extra extra thumbs up for that my man but i liked everything about that track my only thing that i would say i would i would definitely go tell you to go back and 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 rethink are the drum the drum selection the drum pattern itself is dope but something he as i was telling ray d it needs to have a little bit more snap a little bit more kick to it but but beyond that very 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 dope track my man lock has been bringing it man he is definitely proving the theory it is as long as you continue at it you will improve you will get better flat out Shout out for that, my man. All right, coming up to a gentleman we haven't heard in a couple of weeks. Our man right outside of Chicago, Taharka. Let's see what he has. man okay <laughs> he said his was more of a tribal funk and there's something i've actually been meaning to ask him because of his name is definitely unique i've only seen him one time when we did a hangout and he 
at least from what I saw, it kind of looked like he had more. He was uh, possibly of a Native American dissension or origin. And I've been I've been wondering I was wondering if that's what's going on as far as like his name, because that's actually his name. And then, you know, it was another submission that was similar to this. And then definitely this definitely has more of a Native Native American feel to it. I really like everything about that. I like the intro. I like the build up. I like the change up in, in the different sequences, even though it's keeping that same boom, 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 you know, through the, the three entire uh, 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 song and that would definitely re relate to more of a Native American, you know, tribal dance or something like that. But man, I really, really enjoyed that. That's definitely something different. I love the flute. The flute is dope, like a like a kind of a pan flute almost. What I really enjoyed was I get I am assuming that's what he's using as the bass. It, it may actually be a bass, but it sounds more like a cello. Man, that warm. Oh boy, that is sick. Taharka. Glad to see you back in the lineup, my man. Whew. That was nice. Very, very nice. All right, moving over to the UK. Our man, Crooked Mystery Jazz. Let's see what he has. <laughs> Crooked Mystery Jazz. Oh, boy. Mm, mm, mm. That was nuts. Did you really pay attention to what was going on with that? There's definitely three, almost four different sections of that song. And pretty much sound entirely different. With the same sample and sequence somewhat. But man, when it broke down and actually sped up, that was perfectly timed. That was like one, two, three, four, boom, right on point. That was excellent. And then taking it up to more of the da the dance joint. Then the third part or the fourth, depending on, you know, 
in how you're counting it, taking it to almost of a, a garage kind of thing. I guess that would be garage. I could be wrong. But man, that was sickening. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> no, Jazz has really been, he, like a couple of other people, like Necro, and a couple of other people are, are really beginning to transform into different people as musicians, as producers. And slowly but surely with every submission, it's just like, okay, yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Slowly turning, slowly evolving. Sickening, dude. I Nothing but great thumbs up for that, my man. Excellent. All right. Going down to Tampa, our man, Gold007. Let's see what he has. Seven. Oh boy, that was nice. I like he went with a more of a traditional kind of funk, especially when it comes to the guitar and bass and the live drums. Sickening, but he actually did a, a fusion with like this would definitely fit like late sixties throughout the seventies where you know most of his track was but he definitely brought it up to where it would fit in some of the 80s as well and i i liked everything about it i mean he plays everything in his submissions Un unless there's a situation where we're asking for using a specific sample gold is that talented to where he and he owns enough equipment if you've ever been to a CMA hangout, you know how much equipment this guy owns, but he owns and plays everything. <laughs> so everything in that particular submission, I know for a fact, and he didn't have to tell me, even though he did, everything in that submission is live. It's organic. It's just straight up instrumentation. Everything he did with it, all the different change ups and fill ins. And, and flips. I mean, there was one part 
I think that was around like a little after the minute mark where it almost sounded like an electronic, like the drums went to more of an electronic feel. You know, it had that kind of feel on the, that kind of sound to the drums. But overall, this track was nasty. <laughs> it's that gold funk, man. That was very, very, very nice. Excellent job, my man. All right, moving on to my man, our man in Detroit, double negative. Let's see what he has. Double negative, taking things in a completely different direction from what we know him to do. Man, 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 man. That was nuts. And his was more, as as he stated, this more of, you know, there's a couple of major freeways or interstates in I-75 and one being, I mean, I'm sorry, in Detroit being I-1 being I-75. And he's saying, this is what, you know, I, I, I feel and smell <laughs> as I'm driving I seven over I-75 on the way to work. I'm assuming I could totally be wrong, but I'm assuming he's speaking of the intersection between I-75 and I-94, where there's an actual incinerator. And I remember when I stayed on the east side, passing that joint every day was just, oh, I don't know how people live over there. But. 
it was more of a dedication to Detroit and of course the USA, but definitely to Detroit. And it definitely has a really Detroit sound. When you listen to everything that's happening in that joint, it really sounds like it represents Detroit, at least to me, because this is where I'm from. So excellent, excellent job, my man. I really, really enjoyed that. And shout out to Double Negative real quick. If I could go to a, to a sidebar real quick. Double Negative is a teacher, has been for, I believe, like 15 years. And he just got a job at another high school where he is actually running the, for the lack of a better term, computer music uh, program. And he actually has been commissioned to, uh, you know, set up all the equipment, buy it, you know, set up the curriculum, all of that stuff. And he's going to be teaching uh, all of the, the the youngsters that comes through his high school how to create music using their computer and teaching them the correct way. And I'm, I have nothing but great admiration for that. So shout out for him. Show him some love, please, because that's where it begins. If you can get them young, chances are as they get older, they will continue to do the right thing and just be great musicians. So shout out for the track and shout out for that, my man. And now... Coming up to our man, we haven't heard from in a few weeks, but when he comes through, he comes through. Our man, Stephen G. Let's see what he has. them beat banger king steven g boy 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 <laughs> and see here's the reality that track was just over two minutes just over and you see the amount of change and and dynamic dynamics in that time man this, this dude is, is a genius <laughs> steven genius going back <laughs> I, I enjoyed everything about that. I especially right off the bat, his drum selection was dope. I really liked though that kick and that snare and that hat that he used. And then later on, towards the end of the song, when the claps actually kicked in, this dope this dude knows how to build a song. That's how you do it. Man, that was sick. Excellent job, my man. My people bring it flat out. <laughs> my people bring it if you would like to be a part of the members of the community at cma it's very simple put computermusicacademy.com into your browser come over 
choose the uh, membership and join us. It's that simple. You could be on the next podcast. You could be amongst names like Stephen G, Double Negative, Go 007, Crooked Mystery Jazz, Taharka, DJ Locturnal, and Ray D3000, and many, many others who are doing their thing at CMJ at CMA <laughs> week after week after week, month after month. This was a great episode in my opinion. I have a shout out for everybody for coming through. I enjoyed every single submission. And on that note, we are done. And I just tapped the hell out of my mic. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. See ya!